Hey, what's up? This is Justin with Wingsound.com. Everyone uses click tracks to record, but it's really hard to get into the music with that annoying sound. So what I'm going to do in Pro Tools 8 is show you how to use your virtual instruments to control that click. It's really cool and you could actually create music with this. Let's check it out. So I have expand here and also vacuum, but I'm going to mainly focus on expand because creating music with it is actually really cool. So what you want to do to get expand to be the click sound is go to setup, then go to click slash count off, and then you get the options. You could during you could play the click during play and record, only during record, or only during count off. Then you could also <clears throat> change the notes here on the accented and unaccented, change the velocities and duration of those. So what you want to do is go to the output. And then, as you can see, your virtual instruments show up here. So I'm going to use Expand Channel 1. And then hit OK. So I've already loaded up some hi-hat sounds here. So let's listen to that. Now, I'm going to mute the click. I don't want to hear the click. So it's not very, you know, musical either. But, you know, it's just an example that you can change the sounds up. So let me just change it to something else just so you really get the idea. So, I don't know, polysynth, digitalica. So, you know, whatever. And then what's also cool is you can use loops, what I like to do. So let's just say dance one. So that's cool right there, you know, because what I've done is I've added the arpeggiator onto it, as you can see, in Expand. Right here. I added the arpeggiator on it. You know, and you can change it up. Loop shuffle, whatever. And now it's here. And then, let's change up the tempo a little bit. It's going to be faster. So you get some really cool, um, you know, industrial sounds like that. And then you could always go to the setup, click count off, and then change the notes. So let's just say, and if when you got your MIDI keyboard, so you can choose the notes that you want to accent and unaccent. Let's just see something else, a hard bass. So, you know, I'm changing the tempo, all that stuff, getting some really cool sounds there. Now, what I like to do is, you know, find the sound that's really cool and then start adding effects onto it and playing with your parameters in Expand and you get some cool stuff. Let's hear it. So you got like endless possibilities there. And then once you find something that you like, you can go to that instrument track, go to the output, change it to a bus. I'm going to use bus one here or bus one and two if you're using a stereo track, create a new audio track, which I've done, and then change the input to that corresponding bus. And then you could arm that for record and then record it and you could get some cool loops or sound effects, whatever it is. So here's something that I've already done, just to give you an idea what you can do with it. Yeah. 
Here's something else. <laughs> So you can get some real cool drony atmospheres or you can build up some new loops and tweak them with the effects and expand and then add more effects on top of it and get some really crazy stuff. You can always get in touch with Justin at winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at winksound.com.